On last week's Tiny Tidy Tuesday, we took care of the plants in this fall deep cleaning series. This week, we are taking care of the ceiling fans. That's one of those things that I don't think a lot of people really think about it until they stop moving. And then they realize just how dusty they, they can become. The last couple of weeks, we have tried to sort of keep the heat from getting turned on. The fans have been stopped because they do move air and that makes people feel cooler. And I realized, oh, they really need to be washed. <laughs> now I have switched over to these mini ceiling fans. They are actually designed for like camping or RVs, that kind of thing. They are under $20 on Amazon. I will put a link in the description box and comment down below. If you would like to support the channel that way, feel free to do so. Um, but these have been actually really great for us. So we do not have AC because we have issues with our ductwork and our main ceiling fans, like the ones that are typically installed in a trailer, have quit working. That's why I, you notice that I just have a spot there. I took it down, put up a new one. It was a beautiful ceiling fan. It was too heavy for the mount, so it started pulling away from the ceiling. I would eventually like to find a solar powered light that I can actually turn on and off to put in my bedroom, but for now, <sighs> Um, and then the goal is kind of to have two ceiling fans per room um, or approximately that depending on how it's laid out. So like I've got one moving air in the front entryway, one in my son's man cave, one in the like sort of in between the kitchen and living room, one in the laundry room. I had one of these in my closet. I've had people asking questions about how I can dry clothes in my closet. Aside from the fact that I don't have many clothes, so I have extra space in my walk-in closet, I had a ceiling fan, fan mounted in the doorway. Now, it is currently one of our big fans that moves a lot of air because I am trying to keep the heat away from the water heater. It is leaking, so that has been another project we've encountered this week. Um, it, we've known that we were going to need to do something for about a month now, but I just had somebody giving me... Well, he stopped out to get to see what he was working with, and we'll have an estimate Wednesday. So, working on that project, and then I will probably get another one to put back in there of these. These are actually five or six watts, so they use very little energy and they just plug into a USB port. So they're really nice little fans. They have an inline switch to turn them on and off. And they just clip like I've, I use eye bolts, which initially is like, oh man, that'd be really hard to get into the ceiling. But I just put a universal socket on my impact drill and it goes in really easy. You just kind of stick the eye bolt in there and it screws right in and then you clip on the ceiling fan. Has worked very well. Has also made moving the like chandelier type light in the kitchen pretty easy as well. The goal with this project is to basically change the direction of the fan. So if you, most people on the bigger fans, they have like a little switch and you just flip the switch in the spring and the fall to change the direction of the fan to change the airflow pattern. These are one directional fans, so I can't very well do that. And I realized I can, however, change the direction of the blades. So it just functions differently and does the exact same thing while always going in the same direction, which is nice. <laughs> and hopefully we'll make it a little comfier in here this winter. Next week on our Tiny Tidy Tuesday 
fall deep cleaning. I think I'm actually going to clean my oven and toaster oven. We use those a lot in the winter time, so it's one of those things that is really good to get cleaned out before we're using it constantly. And I would like to say a huge thank you to my son for getting these fans down and putting them back up. He's four inches taller than me and has longer arms, so he didn't have to get the step stool out, whereas I would have got had to get it out for most of them. <laughs> There's one I can get to just on my tippy toes, but... Well, and I guess I actually put this one back on my tippy toes. Anyway, it's a thing. These are, they just hook there at the top. So it's fairly simple to put them up and down. Now I will caution you if you get these, you do have to have a way to hold the cord out of the blades. So you'll notice most places I have an eye bolt that it's hooked onto and then either a hook or another eye bolt that the cord hooks around and jogs to wherever it's plugged in at. And basically what I did for that was I just took the, I got little power strips that have three USB ports and a couple of regular plugs on them for each of the rooms so I could run. And then like the one in the bathroom, I've got a, an extension cord on that so I don't take up the bathroom outlets. The first week of fall deep cleaning, I got the plants taken care of, and then this week we are doing ceiling fans. Next week I am doing the oven and toaster oven. Then I'm looking for ideas for after that. What do you guys do? Part of me finds this process so intriguing. I've never really had the bandwidth to think about an actual process or like series of steps to do something like a fall deep cleaning. <laughs> I've just had too much stuff to be able to deal with it all. I just didn't know where to start, so I didn't do any. We're rectifying that this year. I am also considering going back and doing a round of the minimalism game in January, so let me know if you want to see that too. Part of me is afraid I don't have enough stuff to do a round of the minimalism game, but at the same time, I probably did that much on the shelves. And remember, a little bit at a time really adds up over a lifetime. <laughs>